Yo, it's your boy Rob Coleman coming at you one more time with another trailer review. What do I have for you today? I don't know. I don't know. What do I have? What do I have? A interesting movie that we are going to look at the trailer for to see if second generation uh, talent runs in the family. What I mean by that is we have a movie uh, written and directed by the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, it's Shana Shyamalan called The Watchers or Watchers, I think. Not the, is it the? Yeah, it's The Watchers. Okay, The Watchers. Um, this movie is interesting because once again, it's directed by the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan. She doesn't have a lot of uh, writing and directing on her credit. Um, she helped out uh, on Old, the M. Night Shyamalan um, quote-unquote horror movie. It came out maybe about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And she also did some production and I believe directing on Servant, the uh, Apple TV series that um, was produced and written by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. So Watchers is her movie. I mean, this is interesting to see. Um, if you uh, don't know who she is or haven't seen her before, because I know I didn't even know he had a daughter uh that was doing anything like this but uh, if you didn't know who she was or um have an idea of who she is this is actually a picture of her right here very beautiful um very young as well i think she's not even 30 yet um probably like in her 20s or something like that but um once again uh this is her project this is written and directed by her so we all know the M. Night Shyamalan um, characteristics of movies, right? It's going to be a really sort of interesting, funky sort of story with some amazing twist at the end that makes you go, man, I didn't, they, I, wow, they, the whole movie, that it was that, right? You know, so I'm wondering, is she going to have that same talent of being able to tell a story and have you leaning one way and then by the end of the movie it's like something completely different now that worked well for m night Shyamalan at the beginning of his you know directing career not so much lately i think people have been less than impressed with you know some of the outcomes of some of his more recent movies um i don't think people really like old or um the one with Batista where it was the uh they had to stop the end of the world or something like that and it was that you know once again like with M. Night Shyamalan movies always interesting concepts as far as okay well where is this going how is this going to play out and you know just being less than satisfied with the ending I mean I see dead people and and um what was the one with Samuel Jackson and them the uh the 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 superhero one or whatever dude those were like amazing movies you know when they first came out um because we hadn't really seen a person that was that good at putting a twist at the end of a movie probably since you know uh hitchcock or somebody like that like this dude is like it was like the indian version of alfred hitchcock you know but um you know lately you know the formula just hasn't worked as well i believe for like fans and other people but this movie um looks like it has you know a, a solid base so what's going on with this movie the watchers well the synopsis says a young artist gets stranded in an extensive in an extensive immaculate forest in western ireland where after finding shelter she becomes trapped alongside three strangers stalked by a mysterious creature each night um that sounds like classic m night Shyamalan stuff that sounds like you know that interesting premise uh that you know hey which way is this gonna go and you know hopefully by the end you're uh have a a, a satisfying twist that makes you go oh wow i didn't see that coming or a less than satisfying twist like uh what do you mean uh air was trying to kill people <laughs> if you guys are m night Shyamalan uh fans you know you know what movie i'm talking about um but like I said, with M. Night Shyamalan, um, just to just review some of uh, his past movies that I've really liked. Uh, I liked Unbreakable. That was the one I was trying to think of. I liked Signs. Uh, the Village, uh, I thought was better than most people gave it. It's a solid 6-6 six, six on IMBD. Lady in the Water, I didn't even see. I started watching that and was just like, I, I'm done. Uh, the Happening is really, I think, where things kind of turned a corner for M. Night Shyamalan. And people was like, OK, that was just stupid. Um, no, a lot, a lot of people talk about Devil, where the people were trapped in the elevator, but uh, Devil, I thought, was probably 
his return to you know kind of return to posture uh because that would have had like a good twist at the end but then you know stuff like after earth the visit uh split glass you know knock at the cabin that's the one i was thinking about with dave patisha knock knock at the cabin those had you know sort of lackluster reviews from fans as far as you know once the twist um once the twist uh was figured out so the can m night Shyamalan daughter you know pull this out i don't know um i'm interested to see this trailer i actually haven't watched this one i know i told you guys sometimes i treat and watch the trailer <laughs> and then review it uh but with this one i actually did not watch this trailer yet so i'm interested to see this movie stars uh dakota fanning who's um been a lot more active seems like lately she was in equalizer three uh last year you know returning with um denzel washington who she did some acting with when she was younger you know she's uh 30 years old and already has like more than 60 acting credits on imbd i mean she's you know a child actress that is um carrying that popularity into doha really well you also have uh georgina campbell who you may remember from Barbarian. She was the uh, one that rented the Airbnb and um, basically was had to go through a night from hell, you know, at this Airbnb. And you also have, um, and I know I'm gonna slaughter her name, Owen uh, Fuere, Owen Fuere. Uh, I, I get, I, I, once again, I don't think I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but she actually was in uh, another movie that I reviewed, a uh, trailer I reviewed earlier for Tarot. It's coming out later this year and she also was in uh, texas chainsaw massacre and uh, a couple other different you know scary movies so the, you have a couple of scary movie veterans here um you have a veteran actress playing a lead role so it looks like you have a solid you know base as far as what this movie uh could and hopefully should be so let's take a look at this trailer and um see what it has to offer let's uh go ahead and cue it up here and my Shyamalan's daughter can do we got do we know any other kids in hollywood that have uh kind of taken their parents um i guess acting wise we know a few but uh directing wise are there uh actors or actresses uh or, or directors kids who have taken over the reins from directing i don't know um hopefully uh this is a, a good trend and hopefully it continues so let's take a look at this trailer and let's see what it has to offer for watchers the watchers okay hey there's dakota what is this place who are you we're just like you lost they come every night and watch us until the sun rises again. It's a window on the other side. They'll be very interested in someone new. What is that? What are they doing? Applause. For you, Mina. Oh, wow. Don't you want to know what they are? That's impossible. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. In interesting. Um, I, 
when I hear watchers, um, I thought it would, I don't know, just, just because I don't know what this movie is going to be about. I immediately thought about, I think they mentioned something like about the watchers and the Bible and, you know, M. Night Shyamalan and is always good at pulling some odd thing that people didn't know or didn't realize and making that into like, you know, the trope or whatever that he uses in the movie. So I was wondering if it might be, you know, something along those ends, but this looks extremely mysterious. Uh, the mirror wall and the people in the forest and, you know, what is Dakota Fanning's sort of, why are they applauding? You know, are these, is, is it is it witchcraft? Is it aliens? You, you know, so yeah, this movie has it. This this movie has me hooked. Um, it, it, M Night Shyamalan movies are never gory. Like the the blood is very minimum, if any, in a movie. Um, and I think the only thing we really saw was somebody with like some blood on his mouth or something like that. So I don't predict that this is going to be a, a necessarily gory or bloody movie for gore hounds out there. Um, but it looks like it might it might tell a pretty cool story. You know. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Did did that look like something you guys might want to see or might want to check out? Um, I'm I'm kind of in. Uh, you know, so far so good on this one. I you know uh, usually when I see M Night Shyamalan, I'm like 50 50 on it as far as whether or not I'll go see it like lately. But something like this, you know, I don't know. It looks like maybe he's returning. I mean, you know, once again, this is not him; it's his daughter. But maybe it's sort of a return to, you know, let's get back to like just being scary and 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 mysterious and and just really giving the fans a good roller coaster ride. So I think I'm in. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you want me to keep reviewing trailers. And uh, we'll just uh, keep this train moving. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.